Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Selassie Fiaoi. Tomorrow, the Ghana Black Queens will look to progress to the next stage of the 2024 Olympic Games qualifiers. They are set to take on Benin in that game at the Accra Sports Stadium. We'll look at the team news and updates on that front. As Nora Hapto looks to continue her fine form since taking over their home at the Black Queens. We're also going to talk about Felix Afena Jan. He's on his road to recovery after sustaining an injury that kept him out of the team in September. He said to make a return and he posted a video of himself getting back to the basics uh, with his club side. He's currently with Cremonis and uh, they are uh, looking to get back into the big time in Italy. Also talking about Mediama SC and their Cup Champions League preparations, uh, they have had their venue, which is the Cape Coast Sports Stadium, rejected by CAF. Uh, Babayara seems to be the only venue approved here in Ghana. And uh, with uh, Dreams FC looking to use that venue as well, it's going to be uh, interesting to see where they finally settle on after CAF rejected their venue. We'll look at all that today. As usual, subscribe. If you haven't, click on the notification bell to get more updates. We'll jump right into it and first talk about the Ghana Black Queens. After winning 3 0 away from home, they will make a return into the country where they will play at the Accra Sports Stadium. The second leg of the competition qualifiers for the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris will see them square up with Benin. A 3 0 victory makes it look pretty. Uh, straightforward but if anything we have come to know from the black queen school Shinora Haptel, it's that she does not rest on her laurels and many are actually downplaying the job she has done with the black queen still date saying she has not played top-notch opponents yet so shouldn't get carried away i get where you're coming from but you can only beat who is or what is put in front of you and if she was failing with these teams you would be the same to be harsh in judgments towards her. So, uh, credit where credit is due. She's doing well. They are winning. That's the most important thing. And winning does a lot uh, for team confidence, even if it's a quote unquote small team, which I don't think there are those things in football much anymore. So, the Black Queens are ready to go. They arrived in the country just last week after the game in Cotonou, Benin. They will play at the Accra Sports Stadium and we'll bring you updates on our various platforms here on YouTube. We'll be bringing you highlights as well and the team news as well. So the Black Queens are ready to go and they will hope to qualify to the next round. Talking about being ready to go, Kudus Mohamed and his West Ham side who after they are lost to Everton are still reeling. No time to reel much because it gets going quickly as possible and he says we are definitely want to bounce back against arsenal the good thing is that there are a lot of games and we don't have time to be too disappointed the focus now is has to be on arsenal our next game and how we do better and better they have to do better means beating arsenal if they want to go to the next phase of the league cup or the carabao cup at his core their kudos got his first full start premier league start on sunday in their 1-0 loss it was not the best of starts for him the best of games in the premier league for him and uh, hopefully he does get better with time he will get better so it's unfortunate that this has happened uh, but we hope and pray uh, that uh, kudos mohammed and his west ham side get a positive result. Thomas Partey will not be in action as he is injured. A muscle injury he sustained in the warm-up to that Sevilla game. I'll look at the next story. Look, has to do with Felix Afena Jan. Yes, the Ghanaian, a 20-year-old, suffered a fracture at the base of his fifth metatarsal of his left foot during a training session. Prior to the injury, Afena had made three appearances for Cremonese totally 117 minutes of play. Unfortunately, his absence from the squad has had an impact on the team's performance. They are currently finding themselves in 8th place in Serie B standards. And he posted this video uh, to show the progress he has made so far, looking to get back onto the pitch once again and help his side in Serie B. They were relegated last season and uh, he will look to get them back up top. 8th now. While the exact date of his return remains uncertain, Afena 
is determined to make a comeback before the end of the year. His motivation is fueled by the desire to secure a place in Ghana's national team for the African Cup of Nations. Well, uh, you know he announced that probably he would take a breather from the national team. I don't know if he would be in the plans of coach Chris Uting ahead of the AFCON, but we'll see. Anything is possible. Afin Ajan made the move to Kermanese from AS Roma in 2022 with the transfer reportedly costing around 6 million euros. However, his debut season with Kermanese in Serie A did not go as planned as he struggled to find the back of the net while the club faced relegation. Now, he found the back of the net in cup competitions, not in the league. So, still found the back of the net, but not in the league. Now, the young Ghanaian forward is focused on his recovery and return to the pitch. We wish him all the very best. Speedy recovery uh, to you, Felix Afenachan. My final story has to do with Mediama SC and the avenue for the CAF Champions League. Mediama is set to host the CAF Champions League group stage games at the Babayara Sports Stadium along with Dreams FC. Confirmed uh, while they initially played their qualification matches at Cape Coast, a recent CAF inspection deemed it unfit for senior international matches. Consequently, the Babayara Stadium of Kumasi is now the only approved venue in Ghana for hosting such games, including CAF inter-club competitions. In Group D of the competition, Mediama will face defending champions El Ali, Algerian champions uh, Bouloazdid, and Tanzanian champions Young Africans. Uh, their initial group match will be played in Cairo, Al Ali, against them, uh, based, followed by uh, hosting Bouloazdid, at the Babayara Sports Stadium in the second round. Subsequent home games will see them face Young Africans and Lali in that order. The CAF Champions League group stage is set to begin on the 25th and 26th of November and conclude 1st to 2nd March 2024. Mediama is hopeful that their support in Kumase will, will be significant enough to impact their inaugural campaign in Africa's Premier Club competition. And uh, uh, CAF prohibited them from using the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. They deemed it unfit and goes, takes me back to the NSA and when we were preparing to face Nigeria in that game, CAF listed our requirements. The NSA has not made Cape Coast fit enough. Cape Coast that was built recently with facilities. What is happening with our maintenance culture here is just not right. The inspection report concluded that several areas in the stadium require an uplift and renovation in accordance with the CAF requirements, overall indicating that the stadium must be refurbished to fit the modern football stadium requirements and standards, making Babayara the only stadium that is fit. Formal prohibition is made to use the Cape Coast Sports Stadium in the group stage phase of the CAF Champions League. Mediama are required to select a venue from among the stadiums approved by CAF to host the group stage face and knockout round of the CAF Interclub competition. That was what uh, the report said there. And hopefully, uh, it will be a great campaign for them in Kumase. We wish them all the very best. That has been it for today. Kudos ready to go versus Arsenal, the Black Queens versus Benin tomorrow. Mediamis hopes of using the Cape Coast Sports Stadium dash by CAF. It's deemed unfit. Felix Afenajan making a return from injury. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great week.